Ever since Meghan Markle entered the public eye as Prince Harry's girlfriend, the actress and lifestyle blogger was immediately placed under a microscope and became a lightning rod for the press. Meghan Markle can focus on her official royal duties as the Duchess of Sussex after she married Prince Harry. Before, Meghan Markle has said that the UK tabloids have been incredibly damaging to her mental health and we can 100% believe it. The obsession with the Duchess is a reminder that media outlets anywhere save their most antagonistic portrayals for women everywhere, often punishing those who attempt to own their narratives. Put together, the distinct Meghan fixation is as predictable as it is dangerous, and a reminder that media outlets anywhere save their most antagonistic portrayals for women everywhere, often punishing those who attempt ownership and control of their narratives. More specifically, the British press have kept a close on the Duchess of Sussex. Prince Harry and Meghan Marco first began dating in July 2016, after being set up on a blind date, and things accelerated between the two fairly quickly after that. However, by November 2016, the press had already begun to attack Markel, forcing Harry to address the matter. That Meghan is a black biracial woman exercising command of her story, opposing the account tabloids have sold about her, threatens the mirage of the monarchy as a secure institution, and the media outlets that feed into the machine they benefit from. Prince Harry is worried about Meghan's safety and is deeply disappointed that he has not been able to protect her. He said, it is not right that, a few months into a relationship with him that Meghan should be subjected to such a storm. But even though Meghan has a difficult relationship with the press, she's still beloved by many in the general public, not unlike Prince Harry's late mother, Princess Diana. However, this harassment would not cease, and eventually contributed to Harry and Meghan's decision to leave the royal family. Meghan was an independent woman and a millionaire before she met Harry. Therefore, they weren't giving her anything that she didn't already have. Despite Meghan Marco and Prince Harry officially departing from the royal family, the public still largely views them as part of the monarchy. More than a year later, even after the couple left the UK for North America with their infant son, Archie Mountbatten Windsor, the British media's penchants for adversely dissecting every detail of Harry and Meghan's life has not eased. The intensity of this wave has now been heightened by reports on Tuesday from the Times that Meghan faced bullying complaints from some of her aides in 2018. Meghan has denied this through her lawyers, who referred to it as a calculated smear campaign based on misleading and harmful misinformation, in a statement to the British paper. Following a high court battle, Meghan Marco has won the latest stage in her legal fight against the publisher of the Mail on Sunday over five articles that reproduced parts of a personal and private letter sent to her father Thomas Marco in August 2018. Clearly, she got to a point where she was like forget you all, I deserve better than this, but most so is the reaction she has been able to generate from people who would not normally talk about these things. Back in March 2021, in what was one of the most emotional moments of her infamous interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan Marco confirmed what we'd long suspected, she and her husband, Prince Harry, stepped back from the royal family last year because the British tabloids were destroying her mental health. Piers Morgan's dramatic Tuesday exit from ITV's Good Morning Britain over his vitriolic comments about the Sussexes, and Meghan in particular. She then clarified that, Meghan is receiving a lot of support from various marginalized groups. Black and brown women are standing together in solidarity with Meghan, because the same things happen to us. It's on a larger scale for Meghan because she's got the global eye amplified to her. But what they are doing to her is what they do to us, too. It's an indisputable fact that, since joining the royal family, criticisms of Meghan have ranged from the offensive to the downright bizarre, remember when she was dragged into that coronavirus debate? Or when she was unfairly accused of trying to steal the limelight from Princess Eugenie when she announced her second pregnancy? Indeed, Meghan and Harry have long been held up as hate figures by certain members of the press for a very long time now. What do you think about these comments? 
Please leave your comments in the comment section below this video. Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, please leave a comment below this video of us.